Hey, checking in on some Baylor guys out this summer, uh, playing summer ball, playing pro ball, not on campus. You know, maybe you're out training and you're not even playing ball. I want to talk about footwear a little bit today. You know, we talk a lot about uh, ground contact with our feet, foot pressure, where the, the pressure is on your foot as we're in an athletic movement. So we want to think about footwear too, because that's kind of the interacting force or the spot in between our foot and the actual ground, whether I'm on turf, whether I'm on a grass field, or if I'm in the weight room doing some work in there on a rubber floor. Okay, so the first thing I want to talk about is we want to make sure we tie our shoes. Okay, very common thing. You know, we make sure we do that here uh, when we're training as a crew here, but when we're off and we're different places, sometimes it's easy to just keep our shoes untied. You know, other things we've talked about in the past about keeping our shoes tight and having a back on our shoes, especially true when we're in activity and movement. Make sure you tie your shoes. Second thing, look at the lateral support of your shoes. Okay, so the lateral side of your foot is on the outside. So if I don't have a lot of lateral support, let's say I'm in a running shoe and I'm trying to change direction or squat, I'm gonna actually roll to that other side. Okay, so I wanna make sure I have some lateral support on my shoes, especially if I'm in athletic movement or if I'm squatting. Okay, so I have lateral support. The last thing is your spikes. If I'm on my spikes and at this time of year, I've been wearing the same spikes since college ball started, you know, some of the spikes may be wearing down. So look at the bottom of your, your cleat set. Look at the actual individual spikes. Where is the wear occurring? Okay, is there a spike up on, the, on the bottom that's actually worn down so much that it's not doing anything? Look at the back part. What about the back three spikes? We're gonna need those for some deceleration and change of direction. Okay, so the three things, tie your shoes. Work with a shoe that has some lateral support, especially if you're in the gym, in the weight room doing some things. And the last thing is check your spikes. Okay, hope everything's doing well with you guys. Talk to you soon.